Good morning, all. How are we this morning? Morning, morning Russell. Morning, everyone. Good morning, Good morning Russell. Good morning, Good morning, everyone. Morning, everyone. Morning, Russell. Peace be with you all. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, O Holy Spirit. Father, as we begin this our day, our Sunday, the day we have set aside to worship you, to praise and thank you, that this day we dedicate to you, Father. In this first part of that day, we want to come to you, connect with you from our hearts and offer this beginning of our day, our Sunday. In the name of our God, our Father, Offer this day and offer this first hour with you, praising and thanking you, learning from you, talking to you, Father. We begin our prayer in your name, the name of our God, our Daddy, our friend, the great I Am. And in the name of Jesus Christ, the only Son, His Son, who gave of His everything for us, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins. The Lord who came down from heaven to teach us kingdom principles, kingdom kind of life. So that the glory that we lost when Adam sinned might be restored when we are reborn of him through his spirit and learn these very same kingdom values and principles. The Lord who is the bridge to the Father, the King of kings, the Lord of hosts is he. And we pray in the name of the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Jesus. who is our comforter and our guide, the God who lives with us, in us, the God who reveals to us the mysteries in the word, that this word, Jesus himself, through his word, might become flesh and live in us. He instructs us, guides us, teaches us, also convicts us and warns us of times when we might fall so that we might steer away from those. And we thank and praise you, Father, for blessing us with your presence in so many ways, through your word, through your spirit. We thank you for extending that hand out to us once again in friendship, to reestablish relationship, in not giving up on us, and you still do not give up on us, even though we continue to sin, continue to fall out of our poor discernment and understanding of your ways, my Father. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for the gift of family, of friends. We thank you for blessing us with this opportunity to come together to pray this morning for ourselves and for others. And as we pray this morning, Father, we want to pray specially for that gift, for that grace of honor, to understand it, and to work with it in our lives. In Exodus 20 verse 12 you said. Through Moses. Honor your father and your mother. So that you may live long in the land. The Lord your God is giving you. And this includes honoring our spiritual fathers and mothers too. Those that are guiding us in our spiritual life. In our journey towards our God our father. Abraham was blessed by Melchizedek when he honored him. In Matthew 10, verses 41 and 42, Jesus says, Whoever welcomes a prophet as a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. 
and whoever welcomes a righteous person as a righteous person will receive a righteous person's reward. And if anyone gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones, who is my disciple? Truly I tell you, that person will certainly not lose their reward. For as Hebrews 7 verse 7 says, without doubt, the lesser is blessed by the greater. The lesser is always blessed by the greater. Hence, it is always important for us to respect and honor our elders, our parents, spiritual fathers and mothers, the priest in church who is appointed by the Lord himself, his shepherd, and anyone walking in certain graces, if we are to tap into those graces. For when they bless us, they prophesy over our lives and the grace that is on them starts working in our lives to open doors of opportunity for us. It is important for us to submit to that grace. It is a cheap victory, but pride and dishonor can block it. Dishonor can open the door for the fowler, giving him permission to close even the open doors on our lives. We must keep our hunger for the graces in life. But it is honor that will mobilize them. Dishonoring someone by disrespecting or making fun of them. And disregarding the results and success they have on their life. Can be the reason we are not seeing growth in our life. We are not seeing the results in our life like they do. He may even be our brother. But without doubt, the lesser is always blessed by the greater. If we honor a brother, we receive a brother's reward. Just like Jesus said in Matthew 10, 41. But if we honor the CEO in him, we receive that CEO's favor from the same person. It is up to us to honor that side of him that carries the grace we seek. Elijah told Elisha, if you can see me as I go up, you will receive that grace which is on my life. And he did. It is not the persona. It is not how they look. It is not how, how rich or poor they are. It is the grace that is working on their life that matters. The question to ask ourselves today is, who have we dishonored in our life? Is it an uncle? Is it a friend? Is it a work colleague? Who have we ignored? Oh, he is rich. He has a senior job. But he does this or that. If I do not have what he has, I need to tap into that grace that is on his life and is working for him. I need to honor him. Lord, this morning as we pray, we ask for forgiveness and to help us renew our minds this morning, to commit to honor everyone from the old person on the street to our colleague at work, our friend, our parent, our relative. We pray for that discernment, Lord, to walk in honor, to perceive every situation as an opportunity to tap into that grace. Help us, Father, to straighten every imbalance that has turned your grace away from us. And as we pray for ourselves, for you to guide our ways, Lord, we surrender ourselves to you. We acknowledge your presence in this prayer. We surrender our faculties to you. We trust in you, O oh Lord, and the understanding you give us, not on our understanding. As we now pray in spirit, we also pray for those that we are aware of in our circle of influence who are dishonoring others, that they might receive 
the same understanding that you are giving us, Lord, that their eyes be open to. As we now connect with you in spirit, Father, we pray in the language that you have given us, the gift of tongues. And we ask for you, through the spirit of revelation, to open our eyes to see this your kingdom way and apply it in our lives to tap into that grace. Let us now pray in spirit. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus.
Thank you, Lord. Ephesians 2.19 onwards. So then you are no longer strangers and sojourners, but you are fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Christ Jesus himself being the cornerstone, in whom the whole structure is joined together and grows into a holy temple in the Lord, in whom you also are built into it for a dwelling place of God in the spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
yesterday when as I was praying, uh, we were praying, I seen a vision, a vision as if uh, when we were praying, as if there was a tunnel going up to heaven. Uh, like how we make a tunnel in the earth, the same way as if a tunnel, a, a zigzag tunnel towards heaven. And I sense the Lord giving me this word of God. From Ephesians 2 verses 8 to 9. For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God. Not a result of works. So that no one may boast. Even as I sensed a spring. That time I seen that turn. And I believe the gift of tongues is giving that way. The Lord who is the way, truth and life. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for your revelation in your word. For opening our eyes to the truths hidden, the mysteries hidden in your word. As you reveal them to us. And you teach us personally. Giving us varied interpretations every time we refer to that same word. Based on the level and understanding we carry at that stage. Based on the knowledge you have provided us and with the, the position we are at. According to our understanding, you reveal it to us in bit sizes, Lord. We thank you for your presence here with us this day. We thank you, Father, that you have blessed us with the opportunity to go live on YouTube for the first time. As we pray right now. We thank you, Father, for blessing us with all the learnings that you provide us. We thank you, O Lord, that you pray with us, Holy Spirit, as we come together for you said in your word, where two or three are gathered in my name, is what Jesus said. There you are, there he is, in spirit, through you, in our midst. Hearing us, teaching us as he did to his apostles. Showing us all that we need to know for our journey ahead. We thank you, Father, for blessing us with this grace, this presence with us here. And we ask you to guide us in our step further. That we might be rooted in the word and as we keep ourselves rooted in that word. Let that make our way prosperous. And through that connection with your word, we might have good success in our life. As your word in Joshua 1.8 says. We make this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. And because we believe. We say amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And let the mercy and the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be multiplied in each of our lives this day. So that as we are blessed through his presence, through his revelations, through his teachings, and through all that favor that follows his mercy and his grace, let us in turn be a blessing to everyone we come in contact with this day and through the entire week ahead that he has blessed us with. Have a blessed and a wonderful Sunday, each one. Thank you, Rasul. Thank you, Rasul. Thank you, everybody. Bless you, everyone.